following on from our chat about downforce, the fan on T50, I kind of understand a bit of aerodynamics, a bit. Um, diffusers, or like a lot of my racing cars had diffusers, but can you explain, can you draw for me how the fan helps, how the fan stops the diffuser stalling, yeah, sure. how it basically yeah, sure. So, um, on, on any car, it doesn't matter if it's a racing car or a GT car or whatever, uh, you've got, that's a rear wheel, and the car's going this way, and you've got your ground plane, the bottom of the car basically, and let's say the back of the car's here, so let's just draw a typical sort of supercar shape. Yep. So, uh, you're Bulkhead's usually here, this is a rear mid-engine car, so your um, occupant is here. The bulkhead's there, then you've got your engine, and you've got your transmission. Yep. So normally, what you do, uh, this is the, what we call the base suction, so the air coming over here is pretty much attached, the air coming under here is pretty much detached, attached, and then when it gets to the end of the car, this is a can tail, it spills off the back, and this, it, it breaks its flow and and turns into a lot of vortices behind here and and that causes low pressure behind the car that's every car with a squared off back doesn't matter what it is road car racing car when we invented ground effect we we found that um, you took the air in at the front of the car and you squeezed it and speeded it up along here and high speed air is low pressure so the faster the air goes, it's, it's uh, low pressure. So you started generating low pressure, but then you had to get it back into what we call the base suction. So you have a diffuser, which is quite gentle, like this, which comes back to the car. And this expands the air until it gets to the base suction here. And this low pressure actually helps suck this air through, and that's basically how ground effect works. So you introduce it at the front, speed it up, get your low pressure, which acts under this bit, downforce here, and then you diffuse it back into the base suction. However, air doesn't like to change direction very quickly, so that's why this normally has to be quite gentle, this diffuser. Um, so the angle. Yeah, so if you went a little bit steeper, for example, if you went, um, if you went like this, you might find the air won't follow that, and then it, it does what we call stall. Same as an aeroplane, it stalls. So it starts breaking away and causing its own little vortex like this again. And actually the air just follows this shape anyway, and this is all just energy that you're losing in the vortex. And when it starts to stall, does it then lose downforce? It loses downforce, exactly, yeah. So um, every designer on the planet would like to pass this point and have a diffuser that just won't like that. So you expand the air massively and you get all the suction and this goes much faster and you get more downforce here. So this arrow gets bigger. Yep. Mm -hmm. This goes faster because you're expanding the air like this. Unfortunately, it d the air won't do that. So the air just stalls. If you were able to do that, you, you, you would get more downforce with yeah, no, so no increase in drag. Exactly. Exactly, so it makes this whole mechanism more efficient. So you're not increasing the drag because you're not stalling anything, but you're, you're moving much more air into the diffuser and therefore speeding this up and increasing this downforce. That's how it works. So, but air won't do that. So what we do is we have a little slot here and we have a duct which runs to the back of the car. And we have a fan. So the fan fires up and moves enough air to remove all this dirty air, which forces the air to do this. So you get 30% more efficiency just by switching the fan on. Best of both And worlds. that's how it works. And that is why the fan isn't the gimmick. <laughs>